Groupie on tap with the Krefeld Penguins hosting Vitkovice Ostrava. Both teams having lost their respective games to Karpat Olu. They sit at the top of the group with six points. A chance for one of these two teams to get their first points in the competition. First period, chances both ways. The checking was tight, the game was tight. We had a couple chances on both sides, but both netminders, Patrick Bartoszak for Witkowice and Patrick Galbraith for Krefield, stood their ground, made some saves, and kept the score scoreless after 20 minutes. Throughout the first, there were mostly odd man rushes and quick chances off of breaks. Long passing was key in the opening 20 minutes. Unfortunately for both sides, nobody was able to find the back of the net. And it took a little bit in this game before we found that opening tally. Nevertheless, the teams doing their best to try and beat those netminders were both having incredible starts. And it was a fairly evenly matched 20 minutes of hockey. Vandas gets a close chance on Galbraith, but the netminder shuts the wickets. No goal allowed. Play continues. 40 seconds remaining in the first. Chance for Krefield. Work to puck around the zone well. Force a shot in the slot. That one's going to sail wide. And that was the last action we got in the first period. Tight game. Nobody manages to take the lead early on. Second period held much of the same as the first. Chances for both sides, but nobody was able to find any kind of twine. The netminders doing a fantastic job. Bartoszak with the left pad, stretching it out and barely grazing that puck. It's the post as well. Count as lucky stars, his team still preserve that scoreless draw. The stretch pass was worked to perfection by both teams. Unfortunately for them, they weren't able to finish on the sequences. Those were some critical moments in the second, and this chance may have been one of the bigger ones. A rebound in front, cleared by the defense. That's the way you want your defenders to work. They get the job done. Danger is averted. But Krefeld, they continue to try and push. Rosa with the forehand shot. Hops over the defender, but can't pick up the scraps in front. Still in the second, still more up close hockey. Bartoszak, he's the man of the hour for Witkowice Ostrava. Diving pad stop again with that left leg coming up huge. Story of netminders continues. Both teams getting chances in close. Nobody able to capitalize. The blue paint will be unscathed throughout 40 minutes, which was a bit surprising considering the quality of that chance. Right on the doorstep, Marcel Miller, all the time in the world, and he just can't put it in. Approaching the midway point of the third period, and Vasilias, the captain of Crefield, gets a fantastic opportunity out in front of the net. Captain can't capitalize, though. It was pretty close, but he just can't beat the outstretched pad of Bartosha. That left post yawning for him. Just can't pull it back and slide it through. Marcel Miller may have missed a wide open cage in the second, but here he gets a little luck from the skate. He tips it in. For the 1-0 lead, Crefield find themselves up by one. Daniel Piera and Tomas Supis with the assists on the goal. And you can see it here perfectly. Little kick and a little goal. Patoshak did all he could, but uh, that redirection in front is a tough one to stop. Either way, Crefield continue pursuing the next goal. They want to go up 2-0 and they get it. Four and a half minutes after Marcel Müller gives them the one nothing lead, Dragan Umicevic makes it two to nothing on the doorstep. Marcel Müller and Daniel Pieda with the assists on the 2-0 goal. With that being said, the Krefeld Penguins find their first victory in this year's Champions Hockey League competition, while Vitkovice Ostrava have to wait till their next matchup to see when they can get their first points of the campaign.